Hello and welcome to the Three Minutes Years. It's me, Chris, here today with another Redstone tutorial. So, oh, wait a second. I messed that up a little bit. Okay, so today what I'm going to be doing is a combination lock. So first what you want to do is just build something a lot like this. Okay, let me just get that sheet out of the way. Or something a lot like this. However many levers you want, and a block in between each one of them. Now, the point to this combination lock is a door or a piston or whatever will only open when all these levers get out of the way. Will only open when all of these levers are in the correct position. So, to do this, we're going to be using AND gates. If you remember my tutorial, AND gates. That's an AND gate. It will only activate this lever here when both of these are off. So we could just go like this, oh, yeah, go like this, and when both of these are pulled down, that's turned on. And then we just do the same thing on all these. Okay, so there, we have two right there, and then this one here, we just gotta bring out over here, and then we do the same thing with these here, hook up to another AND gate. And then this one over here just comes out. then one final AND gate. Now obviously if you had more levers, you would have more AND gates. And here is the final output here. So we'll just put a piston, buckle up on top of that. So now you might be thinking to yourself, yeah this is very simple, all you need to do is pull down all the levers and it'll go on. That's not a very good combination lock. You could do that, but no, just don't. <laughs> no, what you can do is, instead of these just being an input here, you can turn them into a NOT gate. So now this one has to stay up, and all the other ones need to go down. So you can just do that on random ones. And yeah. So now if you try to pull down whoop, if you try pulling down all of them, it won't go on. Because these three here are still powered. But if you go like this and this, it'll go up. Now also what you could do, be a little trickier and a little more confusing. So you can make it a NAND gate. And then, I don't suggest you do this, because it adds more possibilities, but you could if you wanted to. But I suggest you go like this. So, there, that's pretty much a tutorial on um, combination locks. Now, you, could, you can make it as long as long as you want. I, I've made one before that's like over 50 levers long and it's ridiculous. So yeah, that, that that's all for this episode. If there's something you want me to do or there's something you want me to explain a little better, just leave a comment and see you next time. Bye.